Hi everyone! So today I decided that I'll share with you all this um, amazing hot and spicy chicken wings recipe. We just made these the other day because my 10 year old begged me to make him some so I thought I'd share the recipe with you all. So let's get started! Basically, we're going to start with the sauce, which you can make ahead of time. So what I'm doing here, I'm adding three tablespoons of raw honey. You can use whatever honey you have on hand, but I have access to this raw honey. So I'm just using that. Then we're going to take one whole lemon. We're going to juice it up and add the juice of the lemon to the honey. Then we're gonna add some um, sweet paprika. So basically I used only three tablespoons. It seems like a lot, but it's not. So it's three tablespoons of sweet paprika. Add it to the bowl. Then half a teaspoon of chili flakes. You can use more than this. This is just the perfect amount if you have small kids. And one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. You can use sea salt or whatever salt you have and some fresh pepper or you can just use prepared pepper this is about half a teaspoon that I'm putting in right now you can add more if you'd like now we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil I'm adding six tablespoons then we have the hot sauce of course because we are making spicy chicken wings. So I'm just adding about one tablespoon of Tabasco sauce. You can add more for that extra kick, of course, but this is just perfect if you have, again, kids in the house. And I'm adding about one teaspoon of curry powder. And of course, some um, tomato paste. So I'm adding three tablespoons. Mine comes in a tube, so it's not in a jar. And lastly, a clove of garlic. We're gonna press it and add it to the sauce. And I'm just cleaning it all. Just adding every little piece of garlic because it's so yummy and delicious and give it a little mix we're just gonna switch with a whisk because it's easier to combine so just give it a good stir until it turns into this smooth velvety sauce it's really a delectable chicken wing sauce it's perfect blend of heat and smoothness the initial burst of flavor brings a pleasant combination of rich tomato sweet honey and a bit of bit just a little bit of kick but it doesn't overwhelm the palate you can add more spice if you'd like but this is how we do it and our family just loves it now you can make this ahead of time and just keep it in the fridge That's how it turns out it too. It's amazing you guys. And it literally takes 5-10 minutes to make. Okay, and it's homemade and you know what's in it. And there are the chicken wings. So I used one kilo here. You can use one to two kilograms or two to four pounds of chicken wings. We're just going to pour the sauce over them. And give it a nice mix now it's a hot sauce so try not to mix it with your bare hands I use the spoon here and just make sure that the wings are coated with the uh, sauce there we go amazing you guys my kids are gonna be so excited they don't know I'm making these today so 
you have any questions about any of the recipes, please leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them. So I'm just going to put them in a glass dish. You can just leave them in this bowl, but I'm going to put them in a dish, cover them up and leave them overnight in the fridge. So you can leave them overnight or for 24 hours to make sure that the sauce goes into the meat, okay? So that they're nice flavorful chicken wings. Popping them in the fridge. And the next day, we take them out and we're ready to bake or grill. So now you have two options, either bake or grill them. Today, I'm going to bake them. Now you see I have a baking sheet and I forgot to add the foil underneath the grill so I have like this grill rack that I put on a baking sheet make sure you line your baking sheet with aluminum foil or anything with parchment paper because it's going to take a long time to clean those charred drippings off of the baking sheet so I had to soak it up overnight and added some vinegar and baking soda and it was just fine I, it was easy cleanup but you can make your life easier by just putting some aluminum foil underneath and I always do but not this time I forgot there is that extra sauce left over and we're gonna save it for later to baste the other side of the wings we're gonna pop it into the oven this baking sheet with all of the wings uh, the oven should be preheated okay to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna bake them for 20 minutes after 20 minutes we're gonna flip them over one by one and we're gonna baste them okay with the sauce that we left on the side and after that we're gonna pop them right back into the oven here we go they're so nice they're looking so good and the house smells amazing you guys there we go and now we're basting them with the remaining sauce just quickly one by one and there we go 15 minutes later they're ready to go here we go we're just gonna take them off gently because they're very hot so you're just gonna put them in a bowl dinner is ready basically I serve them with rice and a crispy salad you can serve them with roast potatoes but that's how they are and they just fall off the bone you guys are so juicy and just full of flavor don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like more recipes coming your way bye everyone